What's up guys, today I will share with you my top 50 most useful console commands for CSGO. All of these will be listed in the description below and feel free to ask any question you might have. As a quick reminder, in order to open up your developer console, navigate to your game settings. From here, select to enable the developer console. If you are unable to open it up, then go to your keyboard slash mouse settings and under UI keys, change the toggle console option to a key you prefer. With this being said, here are my top 50 console commands. FPS Max Set the maximum in-game FPS. Zero will remove the lock, but some players prefer to set it to around 180 for consistency. Capping your FPS will in turn also save some resources and could reduce lag. CL Radar Scale This is the scale of your radar. The lower the value, the bigger is your radar. CL Radar Always Centered Value If this is set to 0, then the map on your radar will always be centered. If set to 1, then it will trace your movement. Zoom Sensitivity Ratio Mouse Value This is your mouse sensitivity setting when scoping in. CL Timeout This sets the number of seconds of which you will be disconnected when your Starbucks Wi-Fi stops working. CL Radar Rotate Set this command value to 1 if you want your radar to rotate according to your movement. Setting it to zero will fix it in one place. R Tracers First Person Zero This simply removes the light tracers of your weapon when firing. Use this command to reduce effects and slightly increase performance. CL Right Hand 1 Use this command to use your weapon on the left side. CL Right Hand 0 will reset it to the right side. SV Cheats 1 this enables cheats on local servers. Some of the next commands will require you to enable cheats and restart the round for them to work. CL Auto Weapon Switch 0 This disables weapon switch on pickup and I recommend using this command and getting used to the change. Close on buy 0 The buy menu will remain open when you buy something. CL Force Preload 1 This will preload everything on the map when you connect. The initial loading time might be a bit longer, but the overall performance when playing a match will increase. MAT Monitor Gamma Value Changes how bright the game world is. Tweaking this can make dark areas on the map more visible. Voice Scale Value This will adjust the volume at which you receive voice communication. Set this value from 0 to 1. HUD Scaling Value this changes the size of your heads-up display. Volume Value Adjust the main volume with this command. Use a value from 0 to 1. Voice Enable Value Toggle Voice Chat with this command. 1 is Voice Chat Enabled and 0 is Voice Chat Disabled. R Dynamic Value Turn off dynamic lighting when setting it to 0, which for some players is distracting. If you want to make sure that your PC is communicating as efficiently and often as possible with the server, then use these 5 next commands. These will help you reduce latency and keep a better frame rate. You don't need SV Cheats enabled to use these, and you can also use them as launch options. Get Infinite Ammunition with MP Infinite Ammo 1. MP Auto Balance 0 will turn off automatic team balance. Use MP Freeze Time 0 to remove the non-movement time at the start of a round. MP buy time and MP buy anywhere 1. These commands will allow you to buy anywhere on the map at any point. As the MP buy time value, I suggest using a high second value such as 9000. Bot add CT or T. This will add a bot on either side. Bot difficulty 0 to 4. This will adjust the bot difficulty. Restart the round in order for this command to take effect. SV Grenade Trajectory 1 This enables a visual on the grenade trajectory. In order to change the timer of the grenade trajectory visual, use SV Grenade Trajectory Time. The same goes with bullets. SV Show Impacts 1 and SV Show Impacts Time. Shows where bullets landed as well as how much penetration they achieved. No clip. This command will toggle the no-clipping mode. 
Use this with SV cheats or on a community server if you have the rights to use it. Third person. Moves the viewpoint to third person. First person will put you back. Disconnect. This one is obvious. R. Clear decals. This will clear bullet holes, blood decals and much more. Bind this command to use it in your matchmaking game. SV Friction. This changes how the friction in a game behaves. 4.8 is the default value. SV Gravity. This changes the gravity in the game. 800 is the default value. Or Draw other models. 0 to 2. This will give you the ability to see every model texture through walls. MAT Wireframe 1 or 0. This command will show you the skeleton of walls in your map. View model preset POS. Change the view model position of your hands. 1 for standard CSGO, 2 for increased and 3 for the classic view model, as in CS 1.6. MP drop knife enable. This is especially useful if you want to show your friend your new gut knife safari mesh. MP C4 timer. Change the bomb timer in seconds. 40 seconds should still be the default value. CL show FPS 1 or 0. Will show your frame rate at the top left of your screen. Again, if you intend to use this command, then simply use it as a launch option to enable it for every start of the game. Map set bomb radius. This will set the bomb radius of the map. Memory. Will show your memory stats, which can be useful for troubleshooting and map testing. Unbind all or unbind. Unbind all will unbind all of your key bindings. Or use the command unbind followed by a key to unbind that specific key. Status. This will show you some important server information, such as the location and type of the server, every player user ID and the server IP. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.